I will say most of the times, Mr. Okoye, public figure, and I say, Ubi, I would demo a war or my mom, and I say, Baby, I will fear who need private life. BM, everybody wants to, I mean, know what is going on in your life. Recently, in a storm boy, a graduate, if he came back, who graduated, and a lot of people are saying a lot of things about him, say, School no crowd, uncle, or got a certificate, and any degree, and the other day. Well, we don't want to base on what people are saying. It's a ne, I told Sir Afre, one of the, I mean, um, youth spokesperson for Tama. Um, traditional council, uh, Mr. Henry Okai Oko Oninku. Oko Oninku. Mm. Forgive me, Dean. Yeah. Hey, dear mommy. I away into chairman. Now, maybe I will call you. Maybe I will call me. Now, um, you can't, Mr. Henry Oko Oninku. On a way. Oh, um, I mean, if I could have a son of in chair, I should have you now. Mr. Henry Oko Oninku. A brand to be a own water man. And now, so dear, dear man, ye, ye, this you come from. And I feel so you be a. A ban in your farm and your sem, any, um, I say, a youth, um, and to one near my me home, pa, or batter my Easter. Me a deputy communication officer, the mind this year, whatever is going to say. You have various youth groups in Tema, Proud Gadangwe Youth, Tema Youth Association, Tema Youth Leadership Movement, a Mubiano, Medimu, a Cotene Passa, as a B, as a mini public relations officer, me a secretary, I think so. You be a me war any said you who say some few years to come. No, um, if I say I want to represent my constituency at the Stemma East constituency in parliament, and he may have a crime or have a crime or hands of a crime, and he did a fashion baby. I will gonna ha. Me no can say qua me one who I may cause a foot two and I offer a by and he and it's intending it's in your name. Henry who could you quay a young boy make us a gun hanging on. Ye be be our baby, I made him who Jim Bess and say, Yes, in here, O dear Chino, O Siania, O dear Nimna Nancy, and to me, Sia Franco for her. Nothing so no, just an arcano. Em, me ye gimper, Minister Mwangina, a ye gimper, last Friday near your graduation, and to em, a crammer cuff of me. Okay, um, what did Patty as a member me, you being a youth, um, how do you communicate? Deputy communication officer for the constituency. For the NDC as well, right? Young Musa will say, our next election is a B. Do you think, say, your party will be elected as the next, I mean, party to lead Ghana? In Ukraine, I mean, Ghana for you, and I can say, if we should pick our cameras, you can't be on things, I won't say. Gana for you now, Papa. I don't know Gana for Papa. Yenya, I mean, parliamentary candidate, presidential candidate, any um, running mate aspirant, they made a whole lot of promises. A minister, we are going to develop Ghana without borrowing. That is His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Baumia. A minister, we are moving Ghana from taxation to production. A minister, one million dollar. A, every constituency, a benefit one village, one dam, a benefit planting for food and jobs. Promises in the Omuye Bibri, and I mean, okay, say, in this house and tools back, we are saying, if you have a flagship program, I'll see you are planting for food and jobs. Then, then, tools back, we are telling Ghana, say, okay, and that's all by. Um, we are coming to move Ghana from taxation to production. I mean, okay, say, look at the number of taxes this very administration has introduced. I mean, okay, say, a machine tax. Bet now, I mean, oh, I mind my Jumo. Unemployment in was from no mean we are far quam business away and a young so a bear soccer, a bear hockey, ye bear winner, and no soccer can cran be by the bechek alpha no solo. A bang seen a ten percent woom. Menuka say betting companies are mini cat a super bet or euro bet, they all pay their taxes. And see, I say a jib a jib be answer into menuka say Upa shen this at a nam kruma. Nanko for Bojos is and say, Nay, Nim say, John Romani, Mamma, Mamma, but Nya, Nana, Dunka, Kufa, the doctor, Mamma, the Bomia, a chappy face, say, Nah, John Romani, Mamma is a saint. Young MPP, top members of the NPP, Professor from Pombati, Anan Kanin and Koyem, Natural Resource Minister, or Naka say, Nya, I can't find Mamma Huninano, and they won't say Mamma Yehuli. Um, the parliamentary candidate for the NPP in um, Bunkata Manso, Hope Senadoye. Hope Senadoye say no, who John Romani Mamma be Bunku to General Panacho. Kennedy, a compro quick Japan has said it on record, say John Romani Mama, he's holier than we think he was. And if these top people in, in, in the Nana led administration are saying this, and then me know, dear, I say, I did the na I mean, so say, and ne. A banner said next seventh December and they gonna for it to a bar. For the first time in the history of Ghana, a presidential candidate in the person of John Romani Mama will win will win with more than sixty percent voter uh, Ghana for Becca stay on seventh December. Now come to think of it, um party be about power, they have their ups and downs. Right. 
omo bo shomo ni she gana for no omo to me this be so e mi so to me and this so you being an ndc uh, member right when your party was in power i hope say enya bo she ni na no mo she omo to me this so to compare this current uh, party to your um previous administration yes what what is the i mean what makes you think say these people are not doing the right thing on a more serious note um every economy we are no mami fakunya we say one of our lecturers um public policy lecturer dr gina teddy i see government beyond before so beba power no you have what we call policy policy beyond our uh, policy framework now every policy goes through cycles as you see then see yen ye ba power no ye ka say ye ba you be we you be we be one of the thing na e see ni super a progressively free shs and ni adie ba kwa na na see ni super ye ye adwe so say ene ye ba it in fact it is in the constitution the i forgot it they said that i think article um, 31b stated emphatically say every child has the right to free basic education but adie ba kwa na say the john mahama led administration no e e e fa e tu ye ho so say looking at the population as at the time now the framers of the constitution were writing about 32 years ago no now the population of ghana is not as huge as we see now so if they were talking about I mean, expanding the education system. What are we going to do? Because the numbers are huge now. That is why the His Excellency Mahama led administration started what we call the um, the E Block project, where Uba Tema. Now most of our students from Pung, Pung and Tema, we are sister communities. Pung wasn't having any um um I'm gonna say SHS school. So most of them in now Eba Tema. Nipana and Batema, Omoko Pram Pram Senior High. So the Mahama led administration and the then education ministry led by Professor Jina Nopukwajiman, our current running mate, thought with that no, we must, if we want to increase the intake as far as SHS is concerned, then infrastructure must also be increased. That is why we started building the e blocks. And I love the fact that um, Dr. Matthew Puku Prempe, who is currently the running mate for Dr. Baumia, on his Andy Nova note, he made it known to everybody that. Um, John Mahama led administration out of the 200 and something SHS that we wanted to build, we built 46, we commissioned them, we handed them over to government. In Timeka say, we talked about the health sector. Many can say you can mention a number of health facilities, sir. Dr. Um, John Dramani Mahama administration embarked on. And ye ye crowd, ye enfe ye rich hospital, how dilapidated rich hospital is. And then we do do hold on say, Nigerians that came all the way from Nigeria to just go and have a look at how rich hospital looks like let's look at terminal three most of the nigerians came and they were like this looks like an ethereal airport why because mahama has transformed the place so i keep telling people say the mahama led administration anytime we get the opportunity the ndc anytime we get the opportunity we try to make some 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 good changes when we're in opposition one of their campaign messages is that if the fundamentals are with the exchange rate will we'll do will do what will expose you he got to a point dr mahmoud baumia organized a whole lecture teaching people how to arrest the dollar to the extent that he told you and i that he has arrested the dollar he has given the keys to the igp as a day when he was making such rants the dollar was three ghana city 80 pesos and then minuka said dollar a 15 ghana city and some coins so we are an answer you buy so these are some of the things that i want us to when we are debating on government and policies i want us to to to, to come practical it's fine he said um the Finance minister, the former finance minister, on, in his last state of the nation's address, no, his last um, budget reading, Osi Ghana has kept the Ghana. Now, in BC, I say, we have kept the Ghana, just say, so that is what we are doing now. So basically, now, now the led administration, they have confirmed that they have mismanaged the economy, and nothing can change that. Okay, Ebusia, and any politics in Kwan Yaba, at least, any profession, any food or one internet, they call Faho, I ain't know. So, what's he be big a cry about politics, sir? And the Tiano, I ain't say, you betray a hunk of crab, Yaba, and I dive into the reason why we are here. Midi, a original keep. Some business, they get some business, Yaka, won't say ye. See, I'm Barbara, just here, be ye, you made your bills, so, oh, ye, overtime, multiple shifts, working from paycheck to paycheck. Now, say business, be or how bit me, I yak, you know, but who be a way, I be my own, I then I want to sour drain over ye. Hello, meeting the Marian, me about medical engineer, me name me, Kunu, and me, ma, at the UK, me, Sassu, a digital business owner. Now, sa business, we, a ye, legitimate business, training, I will hear you, I, ye, the Bemma, ye, be so, and sa, we, be coach, you, ye, be mentor, also, ye, we, he, I need the right mindset, mindset ready for change. 
thing to say why you're ready for within any email address i share my website you may send you all the information i will hear my whatsapp number soon ever hono who be to me at send me a contact me what questions be able to me be same indeed if you are ready for change take the leap of faith me did this every year in me that's it bye bye and that's so any mr henry or uku oniku I will ask you. back to our future MP. If you future MP, <laughs> Mr. Henry, um, young mm. fan, um, your life mm. in um, your life as a student at uh, Kimpa. Kimpa. Um, I want us to know. I mean, something oh. about you being a student at Kimpa. Yeah, I mean, anytime I'm talking about this, I, 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 I talk that with with a whole lot of. I mean, I mean, enthusiasm. Sometimes I talk about this and I cry because I completed SHS 2011. And um, I did electricals at Chim Kupin to me, and then I wanted to proceed to the technical university and do electrical engineering. But unfortunately, there was nobody to help me. So I sat home for 10 good solid years after SHS. I, but then I thought it was a wasting time, but it was actually a waiting time. It was within these 10 years I realized I can do party communication. It was this within 10 years I realized I can do master of ceremony. So I'm a corporate, I'm an MC anywhere at all. Just give me the microphone and I'll deliver. It was through these very 10 years I realized that I can do so many things. Fast forward, 2021, a former mayor of the Tamil Metropolitan Assembly, and then I say this without fear or favor, he was an NPP appointee. He knows very well I am an NDC member, but because of the link, because of the Tema factor, we are all indigenous people of Tema. He saw the dream, he saw the vision, he saw how how brilliant and bright my future is. He held my hand and took me to Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. But before then, a friend of mine, a cousin of mine, was then in Gimpa. And sometimes he mentioned their fees, and I'll be like, in Gimpa, they mean to me in Kobe, because this 4,000, 5,000, no, I don't think I can pay a 4,000, 5,000 a semester because there was nobody to help me. But with the help of vulnerable fellows named Mensa Nanla, I gained admission. I started year one, year two. In fact, year one, third, third, um, second semester, there was a change of government. And unfortunately, the former mayor was changed and another person came. But um, in, in that very time, I thought my education is actually coming to a halt. I had another opportunity from a friend uh, who has a link with Universal Kindness Outreach. They are Gadangwis. They are Ghana people and Dangwe people who are currently living overseas. But then they thought it wise that what can we also do to support other young Gadangwe people, other guys who are also extremely doing well. So Yuko came on board and Yuko supported me. Tema Traditional Council also supported me. And um, I was able to graduate last Friday. But life in Gimpa um, wasn't easy. Sometimes when I hear people say, oh, when you go to Gimpa, you pay and they give you a certificate. In fact, I, I am not a witness to that. I have not seen that and I can't speak to that. But Gimpa, the pressure alone. Because I, I was teaching as a people's teacher. I teach Ghanaian languages and culture in one of the schools in Tema Newton, Leonardo Business School. So from 7 a.m., I'm, I'm teaching in school. I close around 3. By 3.30, I'm using the motorway straight to Gimpa campus. Lecture starts sometimes around 6, depending on the lecturer sometimes 5.30, we'll be closing around 8.30, sometimes 9, depending on how interesting the lecture is. Right after that, probably by 11, you will get home. The next morning, you are going again. So this has been my life as far as game pie is concerned. And it is not only me. My class, when we started year one, we were 74. Yes, and um, later on, we got to year two, and the number started reducing. But then we, about 64 of us graduated last Friday. So. Um, life, campus life has been on and off. Sometimes the assignments, you'll be there. In fact, the very day we graduated, I think Stoneboy posted something on our class page. You have up to 11.59 to submit the last assignment. And we all love the very because that has been the pressure here. Sometimes you'll be given um, a reading assignment, you'll be given an 80, 80 pages um, um, pamphlet. You have to read and convert it to, let me say, five pages or six pages. One of the videos I shared on, on, on TikTok that actually went viral, it was myself, a group discussion. Because I heard people saying, uh, this is a camera setting because Tomboy is in there. We are just doing something for the cameras. It was a group discussion. This very cause, um, current issues in public sector management. Now, before before you continue, I say, what can I by you being a student of um, Gimpa? Gimpa, yeah. I mean, Program men are called fire or Okay, so the department near School of Public Service and Governance. 
but the program is public administration. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, because it is School of Public Service and Governance, no, we uh -huh. do everything. I can tell you, say, everything as far as courses in GIMPA. What somebody is doing as um, a full course four years in the University of Ghana, that is the um, political science, we did a section of it as um, a semester course. Uh, we did administrative law that um, takes you through principles of national justice. We did something like um, management and organizational behavior. You find yourself in a firm, Zion Felix TV, what are the organizational structures. We did what we call public policy. You find yourself in Ghana Post and Abbas Authority, or even in your firm, you want to implement a policy, the cycles you must go through. We did what we call public financing. Uh -huh. And then, a whole, in fact, a whole, a whole lot. We did what we call decentralized system. We were taken through um, governance at the local level with the focus on the various metropolitan and district assemblies, the work of the presiding member, the work of the unit committee. So these are some of the things we do. It's a detailed course. And the moment you do public administration in GIMPA, you touch base everywhere. And in fact, not forgetting the almighty mathematics. We did quantitative methods once and two. I can tell you on record and that I failed um, quantitative methods one, but that never discouraged me. I went back, I restarted, and I wrote it again. And this time around, I was, we did statistics one and two as well. We did a bit of economics, that is economic science one, economic science two. We did computer application. It was, in fact, it was actually a packed program. So um, I can say that that very course really, really shaped me because I do party communication on TV and radio. And sometimes when I go on radio and I tell people I'm not a lawyer, some they'll be like, hey, we are reading LLB. No, I don't, because I did administrative law, political and legal settings, and that alone gave me that um, the foundation to it. Yeah. Okay, um, since I say, we'll be share interviews this year, uh, we'll do game for home, I don't see any program, I'll call fire or not. Quite bad soon, we'll be to me, I first of all, I to be a student of Gimpa. In a program, it's been available at Gimpa. Uba uh, Gimpa, yes, look at a center of excellence. We are excellence in leadership, administration, and management. Some years back, the GIMPA was built purposely for the working class, people who are working and they want to come and do I mean, an evening course. But now, we do diploma courses, we do undergrad courses, hospitality, um, school of technology, the business department, and GIMPA Law School is one of the best um, LLB schools as far as law in Ghana is concerned. We have a refined lawyers as well as lecturers and those stuff. So anybody that wants to enroll, uh, one thing is that you first and foremost get scared with, the, with the, um, the, um, uh, the fees, let me put it this way, because a semester, I'm told currently, we are out now, but I'm told they will be paying about 6,000 a semester. That shouldn't scare you, because after paying all that, um, whatever knowledge you are going to acquire will worth the amount of money you are paying. So September, there will be an intake as far as game is concerned, enroll. Uh, you just follow Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration pages on Facebook and all social media handles. In and out, um, there is publications up and down. And I forgot to tell you, I left school as the Public Administration Student Association President, for short, PASA. So we have public administration as a department, and every department has um, a departmental association with the heads. Yeah, so I was advised by Stone. Livingston HA to contest for the presidency because he sees me as um, a future president, a future member of parliament as well. All right. Um, Uba Ghana has here, when people talk about best universities in Ghana, mm -hmm. the best universities in Ghana, mm -hmm. they don't mention Gimpa. Right. So, what do you think that uh, it's making people not to, I mean, get recognized of uh, Gimpa as people, a university in Ghana? <laughs> people don't mention Gimpa because they are not product of Gimpa. You, I don't know the university you attended, but if I should ask you which of the best, which university is the best university in Ghana here, yeah? I know definitely you mentioned your school. Somebody who attended UDS will mention UDS. So those of us that enrolled in those various institutions, I can tell as a matter of fact that I will choose Gimpa anytime, any day. And I keep telling people that Gimpa is second to none when it comes to rating and ranking universities. Yeah, so basically, as simple as that, it is not about people that have been to Gimpa. It is not about people that have been to Legon. It's not about people that have been to, um, let me say, um, KNUST. But then the products that are coming out and how people are being able to project Gimpa. So basically, I keep telling people that, yes, you go to UPSC, when I ask of the best university in Ghana, you tell me UPSC. I'm also a proud a Green Hill um, alumni. So hey, Gimpa is the best it's, school. It's obvious. When you come to Ghana, I mean, I went to Legon, I, I went to KNUST, I went to this, but Gimpa, 
Gimpa mm -hmm. is not being mentioned, and we know that we have a lot of people at Omoko, a titular Omoko school. Mm -hmm. Do you think say, Gimpa is lacking something in the public sector, I mean, the space for, for it to be recognized? You know, one thing about Gimpa, one thing that makes Gimpa unique, Gimpa is an, an autonomous institution, so Gimpa lectures don't go on strike. Uh -huh. So one thing that makes those schools very famous and those, I mean, well-known. Okay, where do you school? I'm my student of the University of Ghana. Our lecturers are on strike. You see students on TV, on radio, granting interviews here and there. You know, Gimpa is an autonomous institution. So um, nobody pays our lecturers. School pays their lecturers. But then we have an external auditor from government that does that. So basically, I'll, I'll keep saying that um, it is my Gimpa, it is your Gimpa, it is our Gimpa. And you know, and Casa Bibri. So... I mean, Mangimpa is the best institution in the world. It is second to none, yeah. So in your conversation with me just now, you made mention of uh, Stoneboy being your classmate. How exactly. true is it? And uh, which program were you guys in? OK, so Stoneboy joined us when we were in, I mean, year two. Uh, because which, I had, year, which year was that? Um, it should be 2022. Because we started year one, 2021. I can't tell the exact year, but then it should be 2022. Because um, we're told he has a degree already from UPSA. He has HND from one technical university. I think that's the technical university. I'm not too sure as well. So he came in as a degree holder already. So at um, um, year two. And um, in fact, we are all students. We are cosmates. When we step his foot in class, one thing about Stoneboy, I'll say it without fear or favor, that when he steps his foot in class, man, the celebrity thing is off. Uh -huh. When we are doing presentations, I have a whole lot of videos here. I have posted some of them on my TikTok handles, and people will be like, send them to me, I want to watch them. When we are done, I'll share some with you. When we are doing class presentations, he partakes. When we are doing, um, I mean, assignments, when a course rep comes to share scripts, maybe we've written mid -sem, and they are mentioning names, the way he will mention my name, Oko Ninku Henry, he will mention Livingston, actually the same thing. So he's that class person. I posted something on my TikTok page and I was like, you know him as an entertainer, but he's also a serious student. I, it, it's unfortunate after the graduation, I saw so many um, bloggers tweeting, he bought the degree, he did this, he did that. Even if he did, who owns the degree now? He has his name on it. But I'm telling you as a matter of fact that, personally, I have never attended Sister Sister in class. And I don't know if anybody here can beat the chest and say that um, I have attended lectures C2 over 60 or the 8 over 8 I did in the 8 semesters I did. I attended lectures all the time. It is never done anywhere. And considering the nature of their work, he's not the only... Um, um, Samini left last year. Samini was also there. Um, um, Kasum, Sinari, a whole lot of them. But considering the nature of their work, you don't expect them... Personally, like I'm saying, I, I am not very occupied like Stoneboy does. I don't travel out of the country often, but there are sometimes I miss lectures. And the same applies to everybody in the class. You get it? So, but I can tell you that whatever people must do to end that degree, Stoneboy did exactly that. I, like I said, I have videos that shows that, in fact, class activities, everything. Sometimes he comes to class and he will just crack joke with everybody. You see Stoneboy come to class and giving everybody K before he will go and sit down. And that is the beautiful part of the whole thing. Yes. Okay, so um, you made mention that you were in school before Stoneboy came to join your class. Yeah. So take us back. How was the reaction of your class the first day Stoneboy We had Stoneboy in the class. Yeah. So we were, I remember we did administrative, administrative law that very Wednesday. And then... Our lecturer was like, um, she is a lawyer by profession, Akosia Sasante. We're like, you have a celebrity who is joining you anytime soon. So we're all like, who is this celebrity? Because you know Gimpa has celebrities. And then let me say this on record that me, the moment they mentioned the celebrity thing, the first thing person that came in mind was my, my boss, the SM boss, Shatawali. Everybody that knows me knows very well that Henry is an SM fan. Uh -huh. So me, when you enter my hall, I have the rain sign in my room. So I'm not saying this because I am a beam native and, and I, I want to say something to please people. I have a cousin who is very close to Dr. Louisa. That is um, um, Mrs. Um, Stoneboy. And we, we keep fighting. Sometimes I pose a bit like, you you not join the, like that vibe, that thing is there. You get it. So the very time we were told a celebrity joining our class, I felt um, it was still, it was Shatawali. Others might feel differently. 
But in the evening, somebody was added to the page. And quickly, we were all, I mean, we, we wanted to know who the person is. So I clicked on, I saw the 0200, and the name is one guard. I said, really? One guard? Still more. I wanted to be sure. So the next day, we were in class and Opana came in. But when he was entering the class, he came with a, a nose mask. He was in his hoodies. That is one thing he normally wear. When you look at the videos I'll share with you, he's always in the, the black hoodies and those stuff with the nose mask. So we didn't even know it was him. He sat down and the first thing he said was, boom, in the class. And everybody was like, wow, the man himself is in the house. So it was exciting. And later on, you see people wanting to just come to our lecture hall just to see if it is real stone boy in the class. Sometimes people will come. And one beautiful thing about stone boy, when you come to him whilst lectures is in section, he will tell you after lectures, I'll see you. When he started, sometimes you see him coming with his aides, um, bodyguards, and stuff. So they come and they will stand at the entrance. He got to a point, they, start, they stopped coming because he realized this is pure academic work. It is not stage performance. And sometimes, Stoneboy will have a show. He will come to class. The convoy will wait for him. Right after class, you see them move in, 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 in that manner. There was a show he held um, at um, the Accra, um, um, Accra Sports Stadium. Is it Accra Sports Stadium? I've forgotten the concert. The big concert or something. Yes. That night, Stone came to class. He gave, I think, about six of us. He gave us the VVIP tickets. He seek permission from the lecturer, and then they moved to the Ashwe. So, I mean, he's been coming to class. He's been participating in plus, class activities. Everything a student must do, he's been doing. There was a time I remember he had an issue. Uh, if if, if my, my, my memory serves me right, it was like, Henry, go and escort me. Let me go and see one of these lecturers. So we got there, and it wasn't anything about class-related activity. The lecturer was like, I've been seeing you in my class. I know you are a stone boy, but at least I expect you to come and visit me. And he was, he was a friend something. He didn't go alone. If he had gone alone, people would say, okay, then he went to bribe a lecturer card or something. I went with him. We shared pleasantries with the lecturer, Dr. Apia Mafo. And then we, 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 we left the scene. Um, you share a new pass to boy, not or yeah, before even coming to join your class as a student in Gimpa. Um, on I mean the reigning artist of the year right. and we'll share I mean impact on Rankasa so or make here when it the constituents and communities in the more or general class no the something positive impact to be brave as a student and as a, as a classmate in Kimpa. There was a very course we 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 we, we did. Um it was it was purely about um community engagement. I've forgotten the exact course, but Stoneboy gave a case study of a shy man. A case study, and that was that was the very first time we felt his impact as far as class discussions are concerned. Um, I want to recollect the exact course. We're talking about uh, is it gender, a gender kind of something. And the case study and the example he gave using a shaman as a case study, we all realized that you no, know, he is not only doing music for music. I mean, I mean, sick to get his money, but then his involvement in the community, because whatever he shared with us, he shared a detailed um, happenings on the grounds. We all know Ashai man, um, illiteracy rates, um, 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 gender inequality when it comes to women, um, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, lifestyles that some are not. In fact, he shared all those with us. And after sharing, he even added, Sometimes when you, 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 you tell us the problem, you would also have to help us find lasting solutions to that. And he gave a very brilliant submission and um, um, how, to, how to solve this problem. And it would surprise you to know that their, their project was actually based on that. And um, it is something I know if they take the project very serious, it will, it will try as much as possible to uh, reduce those things that we talked about in class when it comes to immoral lives and right um, stone boy we school no i mean we saw some posts on on social media say oh he wasn't punctual in class so this is c or this is c right there was some posts on um yeah. i don't want to mention the blogger's yeah. name i know all kinds of people do things say the person is coming from your class and i say a false accusation you know more making but i read that very post and um according to the blogger he says somebody from our class said that uh, i can put it to him that uh, nobody in our class will make such comment not to cover up for stone boy by mommy stone is always in class like i'm saying personally i never attended class 
all my 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 four years in Gimpa or my three and something years in Gimpa. Sometimes they are on and off. So definitely, Stone will not get it 100%. But if I tell you what a student does to gain a degree, Stone Boy did exactly right. So whatever I saw, but under that very post, so many people that knew my relation with Stone Boy, our class activities. I normally post our class activities on TikTok. There was a time, for the very first time I posted myself and Stone Boy, people were like, are you sure he comes to class? And his reply, we did a video. I remember we were going for a field work. And he did a video, was like, when you are done, send me this video. Later on, you hear people say, I didn't come to class. Uh -huh. So Stone Boy said this, I think about two years ago. So when I heard people saying that with those comments and those blogs, in fact, I wasn't surprised at all. Uh -huh. And my findings also shows that there are some celebrities, not in Gimpa, but there has been a number of celebrities who would want to be awarded a degree for degree's sake. But I can tell you that um, Stone Boy worked for it. And we shouldn't be surprised if we see Stone Boy contesting any parliamentary seat in this very country. We shouldn't be surprised seeing Stone Boy contesting a Shaman constituency or somewhere in the Huta region. Yes. So, um, my last question before we go. How are you guys, I mean, the, the students that graduated with Stumbo, how are you guys taking these criticisms from the public, say, oh, or Masku, or Koto, say, certificates, or ISA, ICOC? After graduation, how are you guys taking these criticisms? Uh, we have created, personally, I will speak for myself, we have created a very good link with Stumbo. Uh, we talk, we chat. So, I can for say, who say, Anomano, Ana, Abwani, Suni, Anoswa, and Kase, sorry, Finiso. It's an okay, sorry, finish or sorry, finish or about so, but okay, sorry, fee and so at the end of it all, it is the name of the noble institution that people are being taught. I mean, that people are, are being taken into the muddies. So sometimes I see some of the posts and I see some of my course mates, my, my course rep. I've seen Madame Annie, uh, I've seen um, Abner Danko, I've seen a whole all of them defending, writing, replying to some of these blogs. And sometimes we have to because somebody knows I am from Gimpa. Recently, I posted on my wall that I'm done with Gimpa undergrad. And somebody will still be expecting me. I remember our last, our last video on our last exam day. And one beautiful thing is that anywhere Stone Boy sits, I am closer to him. Even in our exam, in our lecture halls, even in our exam halls. When he is here, I am here. And we have a way of communicating with our eye. I'm not talking about the examination by practice, but the vibe is there. So those critics, those people saying all so many things. The only thing I, I, I remember I replied one blogger is that you can also use your money to go and buy the degree in any institution you want, but not in Gimpa. Uh -huh. So the critics there, in fact, he is a public figure. Those things will come. Sometimes I hear things about me, me that I've not gotten anywhere. Me that I'm just a, a deputy communication of. Sometimes I hear things about me and then I ask myself, if somebody is using this body somewhere which I'm not aware of. Uh -huh. So those things will come, especially when you know you are in a competition with somebody. This dance hall thing, like I keep saying, me, I'm a proud SM fan. I loved Stumway because he gave us a sense of belonging. Unlike other places that, you know, he's a celebrity, we don't go, you can't go close to him. His bodyguards will not allow you. When Stumway enters class, I mean, the vibe is there. And sometimes when the class becomes so tensed, who will say something to make sure everybody laughs, and then we move to go. A typical example of a video I posted. We were doing a group presentation, and I read my part. It was time for him. But then he was talking with somebody. So instead of where I have to stop, I want to call his attention. He wasn't looking at me. So I said, okay, so I'm giving the microphone to Livingston. And he, he shouted on the, um, I mean, you can hear that on the background. What? You get it? He took over. And because he wanted to calm the thing, he was like, Oko, oh, you are too much. Everybody laughed. And then we moved on. So that is one thing about Stone Boy, the critics, whatever it is. I just want everybody to know that in this world, everything you do, somebody will have something to say about it. Now, um, do you think that these um, accusations are will make, you know, I may have a bad impact on Game Pass and educational institution in Ghana? Not at all. Not at all. It will never, it will never have an impact. But I think recently there was something of that sort between Okidiji and Afrifa. Uh, I, I, I heard something of that sort. I said, 
he, he didn't go to Gimpa, he got a, a, a certificate, blah, blah, blah. We have heard all those things. But I am telling you that Gimpa is an institution that has trained prominent people. They beat their chest and say, we are product of Gimpa. Sometimes you see some of them and then I clap for them because, yes, they are making impact in their small world and, I mean, the national positions they are holding. So whatever somebody say, will never dent the image of Gimpa. The only thing is that if only the person proves with evidence that Stone has not been coming to class, Stone saw a lecturer, he was awarded a certificate. In fact, even if he paid for it, if I had paid for it, I would have asked for first class. He, asked, he had second class upper. He gets it. So I can tell you as a matter of fact that we are not kotowing to what anybody is saying. We are just hoping that probably by September, we are going to roll again for international relations and diplomacy and master's program. And All right, Mr. Okoye, better say, thank um, you very final much. words to our viewers. Yeah, thank you very much. I just want to say a very big thank you to uh, your boss, Sion Felix himself, because he posted a video and somebody tagged me. Somebody mentioned me. This is the classmate of Stone Boy or something. And then he came straight to my DM because this is um, credible journalism. You listen, uh, you are applying the principles of natural justice here. You heard from this part, you want to hear from this part. So from the horse's own mouth, I'm giving you everything. I heard somebody saying we should upload all videos of Stone Boy in class. No, we can't do that because some of the class are so much intense that you don't even have, I mean, mind for videos. So I'm telling everybody that, yes, yeah, Stone Boy and whatever I end. I mean, you should be proud of him that aside everything he has, in fact, he is loaded, I can tell you financially, his sound. Sometimes he changes cars. V8 ranges, sometimes he comes with motorbikes. Aside all that, he's still pursuing, he still wants to go further. So you watching me now, if you have any energy, you should rather transfer those energies if you want to go to school, both formal and informal. I mean, put your best, let's go and let's meet at the top. For critics will come, criticisms will come, but every good leader accepts criticisms and move forward. So Zion Felix, big up to yourself wherever you are. Big up, so cool, new future MP. Thank you very much. Ebusia, Ebeda, say ha. Ni adi nko moto chwe no Ebusi na bibi adi nko mo efi ba e Felisco Company Limited. A omo ye efi ni say importing and exporting. A debi ope say yang krama o efi amano ni bia no uku mu Felisco a omo be chumi abo ma mo sa kan pepe pepe. Midi e original kipi ha e zami Felix TV. Bye bye. We are back, bringing you the latest lineup from Betway. Betway starts strong with your front two, with Free Play Friday and Swipe Bet. In the middle, you've got all the control with Cash Out and Build a Bet. Plus, with Win Boost, you can boost your sports bets. At the back, they have Smart Picks and the Paschal Daily Jackpot. You always get way more with Betway. And you might not see. This advert has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Betway. Get way more.